stepped looking for developing the, the forum process. Et il disait toujours à la Okinchi que nous remercions d'être là. And he kept on saying to Lao Kenji, uh, whom we, we thank for being here. Que le défi c'était d'arriver à ce que le forum, ou en tout cas les idées du forum, se développent dans le monde chinois. Uh, that the challenge was to achieve. Uh, uh, the development of the forum, or at least the, the ideas of the forum uh, in the China's, in the Chinese world. Vous voyez, il n'acceptait pas les petits défis. Uh, as you can see, he didn't uh, accept the small challenges. Voilà, j'aimerais beaucoup dire de choses sur euh, Vinode et sur euh, la chance que j'ai eue de le connaître. Uh, I like to say many more things about Vinod and about the, the luck of the chance I had to, to know him. Et merci à Anita de nous honorer de ta présence. And thanks, thank you Anita for honoring us with your presence too. Merci à toi Anita pour la présence que tu as présentée avec nous. Merci. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much, uh, Gus, MD, and Sama. Uh, I will request uh, Kamal to please come forward. Kamal Silupe, to say a few words. And while he's coming, I would like to thank FMAS uh, for this event. And Jamila, I don't know if she's around, from FMAS and her team who produced this. Wonderful <laughs> Merci, Danila. And if you notice, there's a DVD inside the book with the, the films and the other things which you saw. So please take a copy. C'est toujours très douloureux et difficile de parler d'un ami. Mais ce que je peux dire, c'est que d'une autre, tu nous manques. Tu nous manques déjà depuis un moment. Et ce n'est pas le fait d'honorer ta mémoire aujourd'hui qui va nous consoler au niveau de la région. On aurait souhaité que tu sois avec nous à Tunis et que tu sois aujourd'hui avec nous pour relancer ce processus. On échangeait très peu. Il était effectivement discret. Mais il a été un compagnon dans la réflexion et dans la mise en place du processus maghreb machrek Et j'aimerais encore le remercier de nous avoir tout le temps consacré tout ce qu'il faut pour que nous puissions comprendre à la fois ce système complexe du Conseil international mais aussi à comprendre les enjeux internationaux de la bataille que nous menions ensemble.
Aujourd'hui, nous avons plus besoin de lui qu'auparavant. Mais dans des conditions pareilles de perte d'un ami et d'un compagnon, je suis presque à la limite de basculer dans des croyances de résurrection. Et je crois que Vinod va revivre à travers nous, à travers les enfants qu'il a formés, à travers les adultes qu'il a alphabétisés, à travers la culture qu'il a développée. Nous n'allons pas t'oublier et je remercie encore une fois l'équipe Josor pour le beau travail qu'ils ont fait pour cristalliser un moment historique. Merci. I will invite uh, Anita, please, to say a few words. And she has a short, uh, <coughs> a short film. Friends, it's it's really heartwarming to be here with all of you and to see so much love that you all share. It gives me strength. Um, I have been asked to speak a little about Vinod and his earliest work that uh, from being a science student, I knew him in around 73 when he finished his MSc physics and I finished my BSc physics. And we were both in the physics department. And uh, in the early 70s, uh, with all the, you know, the student movement and the protests that we had seen across the world and also in parts of India, had uh, inspired him to think beyond just science because we know that scientists normally and all of us too went through an education in which we were very isolated from most social concerns and questions. Vinod Barragman Alokala Aliman Fizyaian Majalo Al Mikan Yen Abihi An Majal Ishtimai Lakin بالخبرات والترحل و... وبالنظر للمشاكل الاجتماعية كان هذا الجانب دائما يأخذ ذنوب من الناحية العلمية. Um, in a small village in Madhya Pradesh, uh, street in central India, there was uh, what there were voluntary groups which had got permission for the first time to work in the public education system in 16 schools to make science more meaningful. And um, many of us as volunteers had started going there, even as we studied and did our research in Delhi University, which was a premier university. And at that time, physics was really one of the most sought after disciplines. But when we went, sorry. Uh, في إحدى المرات كان هناك قرية صغيرة في الهند وهناك مجموعة من المتطوعين الذين يعملون في مدارس في مشاكل البيئة بدأوا عملهم التطوعي في المدرسة في إن إيش في قرى مانتي بريديش مانتي بريديش um, so, uh, so this little scope that we got to actually work in government schools and to innovate in what was considered then an area where no one could intervene in curriculum. And we realized that one science could never be culture free 
as it was taught, and it's still taught in many places. And second, that we were going to address issues of science, technology, society in the culture, in, the, in a meaningful way for children of that area. في هذا الإطار الصغير الذي استطعنا العمل فيه كمجموعة تطوعية كان هناك مساحة صغيرة جدا للعمل في المناهج والعمل على في المجال العلمي والتكنولوجي من أجل استدخال هذه المبادئ في العملية التعليمية. So beginning from there to the 80s when this program grew and Vinod and some other friends realized that we needed a full time group engagement of working in school education, moving away just from science into social sciences, languages, other disciplines, and looking at school education as the site of a lot of political struggle. Through critical pedagogy, which meant addressing issues of social justice and inequality. So that was his first engagement and that of the group of how do you collaborate with the government because you want to change a public education system. We are not setting up our own schools where we might have more autonomy and more freedom, but we are actually going to intervene in the government system, change it, transform it, and also force the government for its own responsibility for public education for all. At that time, in the 80s, in the 90s, we still had about 100 million children who didn't complete even eight years of schooling. That's half the population of children age six to 14, never went beyond, never even completed elementary school. And from that, to ومن هنا كان هذا أول انخراط لفنود في هذا المجال بهدف تغيير المناهج ووضع الحكومة في محط المسؤولية عن هذه المناهج والنظام من أجل التعليم الإنزامي حيث كان هناك أكثر من نصف الأطفال ما بين عمر من 6 إلى 14 عام لم يكملوا تعليمهم الابتدائي uh, that was also the time when Vinod actually engaged with issues of confronting government and yet doing collaborations on our own terms in which Bhopal gas happened and a lot of the funding and support that was going to come from the government was then withdrawn because uh, the group that Vinod had set up was questioning the government's own responsibility in the industrial uh, disaster that had happened. Us. حيث كان تمتد المواجهة ما بين المجموعة وفنود المواجهة مع مع الحكومة بالذات مما أدى إلى سحب التمويل لهذا البرنامج لأن المجموعة كانت مواجهة مباشرة ونوع من المواجهة الشديدة مع الحكومة. From then to 2010 has been a long journey and has actually seen Vinod uh, open out questions of education while he still continues to fight there, but into issues that you are familiar with in terms of World Social Forum, in terms of questioning what is development, in terms of engaging issues of people science across the country with a lot of different groups. وحتى العام 2010 كانت رحلة طويلة لبنود وقد يعني 
ناظر خلالها اكثر واكثر من اجل التعليم وقضايا التنميه Uh, 2010 was a historic moment in our uh, in the work in education in our country. The Right to Education Act was passed, and Vinod was a major protagonist, a major figure in trying to draft the bill, draft the act, and also then ensuring that it gets implemented. And even though by 2009-10 he had come to know of his disease, cancer, in a very advanced stage. We didn't tell family, we didn't tell friends. We decided that he will not constantly be reminded of his disease and that we'll struggle, we'll fight it medically. So just his younger sister, my younger brother, and two, three friends knew about it. Until 2013, we fought it to the best of our ability, but he fought it with strength and with a mission. And he sh his main mission in this time was the Right to Education Act, which got implemented and which is still being implemented and in which there was a lot of consensus building across party lines, across political ideologies, across groups and grassroots and theoreticians who kept, who were not satisfied, who kept disagreeing because you know, having an act which should have come 60 years back when we became independent, it came in 2010 when I told you hundreds of millions of children were still not in education and were being thrown out. We don't call children dropping out, we say they are being pushed out by the system because the system is made use of by only a few people, middle class like us, and the rest are just thrown out. So in that scenario, uh, it has been very difficult to get everyone to get consensus on this act, to get the politics right with all the groups and all the parties, and to get governments to actually give funding for this. So it has been a major struggle. But this was this happened in parallel with his sort of his own personal struggle. Well, see, I don't know. 2010 علم فنود عن مرضه وكان مرض في مرحلة متقدمة وبالرغم من ذلك هو لم يخبر عائلته لم لم يعلم بأمر مرضه غير زوجته وأختها واثنين من من أقاربه وبقي يصارع المرض من ناحية أو من ناحية أخرى يناضل من أجل التعليم ومن أجل وجود مسودة هو وضع أسسها مسودة مشروع الحق في التعليم وكان هناك جدل كبير ومعارضة كبيرة على على مسودة المشروع ولم يكن هناك توافق مما أدى للحاجة لوجود نضال كبير أيضا من أجل تمويل هذا التوجه. And this was also the most difficult time because the most neoliberal policies we were seeing being implemented in the country and so trying to ensure and and the privatization lobby the, the corporate lobby with all the our country doing very well in in computer industry in communications so all those pressures because for them they need a big market in education so they, there was an onslaught of corporate corporatization in education also but in that, to fight for something and to fight and to get the government to actually commit itself has really been a difficult path. And there were many groups uh, about which uh, the BGBS, the Bharat Gyan Vigyan Samiti, about which my colleague Asha will also tell you. But I'll show you a little, small little film, which was actually a collection of photographs that BGBS had put together at the time of the memorial of Vinod in September this year. So we just screen that little film, which also shows this long journey that he has been through. Just after the show. Well, of course, the neoliberalism that we have been in the 
إشكالية حقيقية لأن الحكومات بالمجمل تنظر إلى السيكتورز أو القطاعات المدرة لدخل الحكومة من القطاعات التكنولوجي والكمبيوتر اندستري ومن من أجل ذلك كان النضال مطلوب بشكل أكبر من أجل وضع الحكومة مرة أخرى تحت مسؤوليتها بتموين القطاع وبسبب وجود هذه الأوليات الحكومية الأخرى كان وجود جنود أساسي والآن سنعرض عليكم فيلم يوثق هذه Many, many more networks and many hands have to join in to see to it that we can continue this work and that what we have dreamt for, what we have lived for, for every child and for every person in the country, we can actually achieve. Thank you. مع بعضها ويجب أن تنضم حركات أخرى لهذا النضال من أجل تحقيق الأحلام التي حلمناها لأطفالنا وللعالم with a fresh PhD in physics from Delhi University, took a train to Hoshangabad in Madhya Pradesh. It was to be the turning point in the life of Vinod Raina. For this short train journey was to transform him into a lifetime social activist, campaigner, and educationist in the true sense. He left behind the glamour world of theoretical physics plunged into the struggle to transform society through the universalization of access to education and knowledge. Vinod Zoyana passed away after a brave four-year-long battle with cancer in Delhi. The democratic movements in India have lost a comrade. This is how perhaps he would have best liked to be remembered. Vinod's lifelong passion was education. <laughs> नाम तो इनका बड़ा मुश्किल है आप एक शिक्षक गणस्व और इस साइन ओवर संभाविता चित्र पर की और तो ऐसा लगता है कि जैसे बहुत बड़ा विज्ञान हो रहा है तो साथ साथ में अगर आपने ध्यान दिया हो तरीका करने का यही है कि कैसे शिक्षा को रुचि करवाना है जाए। His train journey to Hoshangabad was the beginning of his association with the Hoshangabad Science Teaching Program. He was to later be part of founding Eglapia. a path breaker in the landscape of science teaching programs in the country. Vinod's vision and intellectual sweep ensured that initiatives that he was involved in did not remain limited as small NGO programs. Eglavia soon became an example of how education can be both joyful and liberating, and its success left its mark on teaching methodologies across the country. साक्षरता और प्राथमिक शिक्षा दोनों का एक अभियान चले ताकि निरक्षर न रहे कोई और सब लोग स्कूलों में जाए और सिद्धांत रूप से तो सही है पर ये भी सही है कि जो भी सरकारी तरीके अभी तक नहीं है करने के वो सरकार भी मानती है कि असफल है जब तक इसमें समाज का सहयोग न The RTE Act was very dear to Vinod, and he fought relentlessly to shape the Act and to ensure a consensus around it. हमारे ये मानना है हम पूर्व अधिकारी आजकल के अधिकारी डेटा अगर कोई ये बताए अगर सरकार लोगों के साथ भागीदारी से शिक्षा में काम करना चाहते हैं लोग तैयार हैं सवाल है कि क्या अधिकारी और नेता कर तैयार हैं या नहीं? The Bhopal gas tragedy in 1984. 
saw Vinod in the forefront of the struggle for justice for the victims of the worst corporate crime in the history of India. Vinod's interest in using smaller struggles into larger mobilization for societal transformation led him to be one of the co-founders of the People's Science Movement in India. He remained the key leader of the All India People's Science Network formed in 1987, right till he left us all. It was natural that Vinod was one of the activists of the People's Science Movement, who was later to contribute to the building of the Bharat Gyan Vigyan Samiti, the BGVS, in 1990. Vinod served as the National General Secretary of the BGVS for several years and became one of the most powerful voices of the huge literacy movement that swept across the country in the 1990s. <laughs> Vinod remained rooted in his commitment to local struggles for democracy and rights throughout his life. While science and education were his first loves, he became a part of the environment movement and was one of the loudest voices speaking for the victims of capitalist development who were forced out of their lands and lost their livelihoods. The Narmada Bachao Andodan, the anti-nuclear struggles in many parts of the country and many other people's movements found in Benoa a tireless fighter and a comrade in arms. Vinod would say that all his later day work was rooted in what he learned from the simple village people in Hushangabad district. He was to use this knowledge to work on a canvas that was truly global. Through Jubilee South, he became a crusader against the unjust global policies of the rich countries and was in the forefront of the global struggle to cancel the unjust debts that were forced in poor developing countries. He was for long an international council member of the World Social Forum. He was also one of the founders of the Global Forum for Science and Democracy. Vinod was a wonderful orator, both in Hindi and English. Many of these people felt that their professional knowledge that they had, they would not want to use it for the institution of the state, but they would want to combine that with a community directly. He was also an accomplished singer. The People's Science Movement, the Literacy and Education Movements, numerous people's movements, all shall miss Vinod's physical presence. But comrades such as Vinod do not die. They remain alive through their work and in the minds and the struggles of the people he worked with. Andolan is not a death. वो उतार चढ़ाव आ सकते हैं, लेकिन वो ऐसा नहीं है कि वो बीज एक दफा बोया तो वो बीज कभी उबरे, अगर उसको परिस्थिति मिल गई, पानी मिल गई, हवा मिल गई, धूप मिल गई, तो वो खिलेगा। अगर नहीं मिली, तो वहाँ उसकी जड़ रहेगी, जब परिस्थिति मिलेगी तो उबरेगा। He says a movement can never die. It's like that seed which can lie dormant for years. And when it gets the right kind of uh, water or right kind of uh, nurturing, that movement will again prosper and blossom. <laughs> Thank you. Uh,
we have uh, with us, I think in the film also and uh, in uh, uh, Anita also mentioned the organization, the movement, and I think it's one of the largest social movements in India with at some point having several million volunteers, the literacy movement, and at present I think about 300,000 members. Uh, presently the general secretary of this movement is Asha Mishra, and we are very honored to have her here with us. Uh, she will share just a few words and uh, show uh, four slides. I'm getting strength from you people that you have organized a tributary to Vinodrena. Vinodrena <coughs> was a member of full time or till his death of the organization that Dr. Anita Rampal and Feroz had just mentioned, Bharat Can Be Can Samiti, a network working on education and science in India. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say the Asha here, uh, General Secretary or Secretary Ram the Harakat Mahmo and Umiya, Letty Fio Dueta, Permit and Me at Alf Motodowa, Wakat Bada at Hadith Hab and Tashar Khauf, Ujudi Hafi Tabin Vunud, when the Hunkana Odwan Fahila. في الحركة يعمل على قضايا التعليم بوقت كامل بكامل وقته. I am asked to say something about this voluntary organization. So, BGDS Bharat Gyan Bikyan Samiti is just 23 years old organization. It was started in 1989 to carry out definite tasks only to initiate a nationwide environment building for the literacy in India. A central caravan, a, sorry, a cultural caravan on knowledge and science in order to create a conducive environment and demand for literacy was started in India in 1990. Today, from the Hadith today, in this occasion, about Vinod, and I will start the Hadith from the year 1909, and the journey to the Hadith was the journey to the Hadith, or 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 the بناء بيئة مهنية وداعمة للتعليم في الهند في العام 1995. The only objective was to create a demand for literacy. At the time, it was expected to exist only for about three years. However, even within the initial few months, it became clear that BGVS cannot be closed in three years. Can that, sorry. Can had a in the beginning, we had a goal of creating a community of children for three years. We had a goal of but we 
Business cannot be closed in tears that it has to play an important role not only in creating demand for literacy but also for developing an effective delivery mechanism for literacy in the country. وبالتالي امنا بانه لا يمكن اغلاقها يجب ان تستمر من اجل بناء العقول او العقليه التي ستساهم في بناء تعليم متكامل. That delivery mechanism at that time was given as five things which was consist of one a close and dynamic association of people's organization with the bureaucracy. Second, voluntary involvement of the people of the country. Third, and implementing office functioning around the clock. Fourth, creating an environment of finding joy in caring and sharing. And the fifth one is, fifth one was selection of whole the area for the literacy with the co cooperation of the magistrate as the implementing unit. Okay, that's hard. Okay. We uh, worked on a new technology uh, this, that was created a positive environment for the literacy to eradicate illiteracy in the country. The country witnessed in the subsequent few years one of the biggest, perhaps the biggest people's mobilization about 120 to 130 million learners attended literacy classes. Out of them, 50% were women. One thirty million. One hundred twenty. 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 I uh, literacy rate was increased, which was conducted by VGVS with the support of the other organizations, the bureaucrats. There was an 18 percent increase. No, 14 percent. 14 percent increase in the literacy in 1991 after the 10 years campaign. Yeah. كان هناك ارتفاع بنسبة 40% بمستوى التعليم وهذا الارتفاع حقق في عام 1991 بعد نضال 10 سنوات من حملة التعليم. I must say Dr. Bino Rena was one of the person amongst others behind this concept. وقد كان دكتور فينود هو أحد الرواد في دعم هذا المشروع. After that, BGBS began to diversify its agenda as per the demand of the people to primary education, which was a natural extension of literacy. وبدأت منذما تسارعت تسارع عملها وبدأت بالانتقال من عملية الدعم باتجاه محو الأومية باتجاه التعليم والتعليم الابتدائي وزمية التعليم الابتدائي. Actively participated in watershed based development. وقد شارك بفعالية في 
وقد شارك بفاعلية في العديد من المشاريع المرتبطة بتطوير مصادر المياه. Gender equity which is called as Samata as a women's forum within the organization. وقد بدأ أو هو من أسس منتدى المرأة الذي يناضل من أجل مساواة المرأة في الجمعية. Resource mapping, local area planning, and also formation and strengthening self help groups of women. والعديد من المشاريع التي كانت تسعى لتقديم الدعم لمجموعات المجموعات النسوية والتي كانت تسعى أيضا لتعريف المرأة بالمجتمع المحيط بها من خلال وضع الخطط الخاصة في مابينج أو دراسة المحيط الخاص بالمرأة. We have also run around 2,000 community-based foods, which was uh, uh, focused on secular and democracy. Yeah. <coughs> Common based school uh, conducting activity with the people to promote reading culture. Uh, we have our own publication units, publishing books for adults, children, women, and others also in low cost. ولدينا مطبعة خاصة هي تساهم في طباعة إصداراتنا الخاصة بالتعليم. Finally, a campaign for making free and compulsory education art for the children of 6 to 14 age group. وأخيرا أذكر أنه شارك فعالية في حملة الحق بالمشاركة. And now we have been involving in proper implementation of this act in our country. والآن حركة تتابع عن كثب تطبيق هذا الإنجاز. Uh, we are working in 23 provinces of India. Around, and we are totally voluntary based organization and around 3 million uh, uh, members have been associated with us. نحن مؤسسة قائمة على التطوع ولدينا أكثر من عشرة مليون متطوع. دكتور بنودينا was fighting relentlessly to shape the act to ensure a consensus around it. بنود كان يناضل من أجل تأكيد الفعل ومن أجل حشد الهمم باتجاه هذا الفعل أو هذه even after the enactment, he made persistent efforts for the implementation of it. وحتى بعد رحيله ما زالت هناك خطوات. هو نفسه ساهم بوضعها قبل 
He continuously traveled even the last two months of his death to the provinces of India to meet policy makers, officials, activists, UN agencies to explain the true spirit of this act. وبقي يسافر ويتجول ويلتقي بممثلي المؤسسات واليو ان في اخر شهرين من مرضه حتى يثبت ويتاكد من تطبيق هذا الفعل. He was the key leader of our All India People's Trust Network, that BGBS is part of that, and also the General Secretary of EZVS. And at, uh, at present, he was the our executive committee members of BGBS. هو الشخص الذي كان خلف بناء وخلق حركة العلماء في الهند. We have lost one of our key activists. I must say, activist and. The organization will never get what we have lost. Several many programs have been organized in our country from nation to villages. Many people, many volunteers, they have come to Delhi. They came to Delhi when we organized our tributary program just after the six days of his death in Delhi. They came from different part of the villages of India, and also came to. They all have organized many programs in his absence. I must say that his memory will always be with, with us, and his strength will give our organization. More capable, and I am. I will show one uh, PowerPoint to you. On behalf of my organization, Bharat Can Be Can Samiti, and all all the people science network, I am thankful and grateful to you for being with us and for organizing this program. Thank you. جنود كان أحد أهم نشطائنا ويصعب علينا تعويضه وفي ذكرى رحيلة وفي جنازته كان هناك مشاركة كبيرة جدا من المتطوعين والناشطين واليوم في ذكرى سيبقى بنود يقوينا ويجعلنا أكثر قدرة وتصميم على مواصلة النضال. Uh, as Gus has already mentioned, we have a comrade from uh, from China, uh, with whom we know work very closely. Uh, in his memory, they had made a music concert uh, back home in China, and they want to uh, play that music concert. And I'll invite Kinchi to uh, to please come and say a few words. Kinchi. Good evening, friends. Uh, it's been three months since Vinod uh, passed away, and it is still very difficult to think of him in the past tense. Um, it's been very difficult to uh, to think of Vinod in the past tense, even though he's passed away for three months. من الصعب أو المساء الخير للجميع من الصعب علينا الحديث عن بنود بصيغة الماضي بالرغم من إنه هذه حقيقة لكن يصعب علينا الحديث بصيغة الماضي. So this morning when I was listening to the debate in the International Council, I was imagining how we not would have commented on the issues and what he would have said. 
وخلال نقاشاتنا اليوم في المجلس كنت جالسة وأتخيل لو كان بنود بيننا كيف كان سيتفاعل وكيف كان سيرد وما كانت ستكون ملاحظاته. So Gustav told us also uh, already about some of the work at the global level that we not did, and Anita and Asha told us about the work he did in India at the grassroots level. وقد أخبرنا صديقنا Gustav عن عمل فنود على المستوى الدولي وقد أخبرتنا أنيتا وأشا عن عمله في الهند. So I will fill in some of the the gaps on the what the not has been doing had been doing at the regional level. والآن سأقوم بتغطية بعض الثغرات التي لم يتم تغطيتها والتي عمل من خلالها فنود على المستوى الإقليمي. So for many of us from China, from Malaysia, from Japan, we we have been informed always with what's going on. For example, in the International Council, because the Nord is our representative and our link for the Asian social movements. بالنسبة لنا من الصين من ماليزيا من اليابان كان دائما يتم إبلاغنا وتوضيح لنا عما كان يدور من نقاشات في المجلس الدولي وفي المدد الاجتماعي. So Binod was president of the network in Asia called Arena, Asian Regional Exchange for New Alternatives. وقد كان Binod هو رئيس شبكة Arena, Asian Regional Exchange for New Alternatives. So Binod was president of the network in Asia called Arena, Asian Regional Exchange for New Alternatives. Exchange. Exchange. وهي الشبكة الآسيوية الأقليمية للتبادل. He was also part of the People's Plan for the 21st century, the PP21, which came into being in 1989. وقد كان عضوا أيضا من اللجنة المنظمة لـ 21st century. People's Plan. For the 21st century. And well, in the last few years, he has been part of our efforts in China and in Asia on the South South Forum on Sustainability. وقد كان أيضا جزء من جهودنا في الصين وفي آسيا في South South Forum في منتدى. So actually, the the picture you see here, it was taken last December when he was in China at the Three Gorges Gorge, at Three Gorges River, and so despite his illness, he had been he had insisted. On participating in many of the activities. And um, for the Nord, uh, he has always been wanting to uh, bring in uh, our Chinese uh, movements and friends into the global uh, networks. وقد كان دائما يسعى لدمج حركاتنا وجعلها جزء من الحركة الدولية. So since 2001, for every of the World Social Forums, we have organized teams of Chinese delegations to participate. ومنذ العام 2001 بدأنا بتنظيم بفوت للمشاركة. And Gus mentioned that one of Vinod's wish was to have a World Social Forum one day in China. But actually, the World Social Forum is very famous in China because we have written a lot about it. And 
العديد من الكتابات عن But I think uh, for the Nord, um, the idea of networking is not just that people come together and meet with each other. I think uh, for us, uh, it's very important to try to see the problems, make sense of the problems, and try to find um, well possibilities, even though they are so difficult. بالطبع يعني بنود كان يفكر بالمنتدى الاجتماعي ليس فقط كمكان للاجتماع والتواصل بس بل هو مكان اكبر واوسع من اجل التفكر في المشكله ومحاوله وضع حلول لها. So we see we not as an activist, uh, we see him also as a very important theorist. نحن نراه ليس فقط كناشط لكنه ايضا كمنظر وانسان يساهم في بناء النظريات معنا. And the empirical practical work cannot be separated from the theoretical conceptual ideas. نعم والجانب العملي او التطبيقي للقضايا لا يمكن فصله عن الجانب النظري. So we have uh, spent hours and hours of uh, to debate, and uh, it has been it has taken place for, for over 20 years. But I think uh, we noticed much, uh, so, so much more than a theorist and a practitioner. He is also he was also a man of integrity and honesty, a man of passion and love. هو كان أكثر من منظر أو عالم وأكثر من ناشط هو كإنسان صادق ومحب وحساس passionate ومحب ومحب صادق ومحب I think uh, for all of us who know him uh, we all marvel at the way uh, that he could affect people he could inspire and uh, he could uh, instill in us a sense of hope for the future. So it was very sad uh, when we heard at the news. And in Hong Kong, uh, in October, we held a concert and our um, and so we and after the concert uh, we put it in on the DVD. We also put it on the on the YouTube. So we would like to show you maybe just one part of it. Yeah. We did that because we know that uh, we not loved music. <laughs> so the, the music was played by one of our team members. Thank you.
the song briefly talks about come uh, come dear friends I'll take you under a sky uh, where there are, there are no sorrows only love exists and other metaphors are used to say the same thing <clears throat> एक ऐसी गगन की तली जहां हम भी न हो आंसू भी न हो बस प्यार ही प्यार भले एक ऐसी गगन की तली सूरज की पहली किरण से आशा का सुबह
Sainte Nour, bonsoir. Euh, je vais chanter avec notre ami quelques chansons à la mémoire de Lyon, que j'ai eu l'occasion de connaître depuis 2009. On a eu l'occasion de passer quelques soirées avec beaucoup de monde ici et on a eu l'occasion de chanter également. L'une des chansons, chansons qu'on avait chantées ensemble, c'est une chanson de Cher Imam et que je laisserai pour euh, la fin. Parce qu'il y a un refrain euh, dit Haha et il avait un énorme plaisir de le répéter avec nous. Mais je vais commencer par. Un, une chanson dont le texte euh, revient à un penseur, Sofi, qui est Ibn Arabi, et c'est un dialogue entre le corps et l'âme. Personne au sommet, puis d'autres 
à la base. Et euh, c'est une chanson que j'ai mis moi-même en musique.
In this forum, I had an, an, uh, a good relation with Vinod. Maybe I'm the least one who speaks about him, but I need to talk about this relation. فقط أقول أدرك Vinod خطورة التعليم وبالتالي كان معنا في فلسطين وقليل من ثوار العالم من لم يعمد تضحيته ونضاله بزيارة فلسطين. Vinod realized the importance of education, so he was there among us in Palestine and Generally speaking, there are very few fighters uh, um, who fight for justice. Uh, who didn't, who didn't uh, uh, visit Palestine? So, for a fighter, it's, it should it should be a visit for Palestine. Can we not? When we disagree. Uh, Vinod was the, 
الذي يقدم الذي يقدم الراي الصواب فلا يجادله احد من هنا نقول اننا نعده في فلسطين ان نواصل على ذات الدرب that we continue on the same path الذي قضى من اجله that he died for من اجل حريه الشعوب من اجل المهمشين من اجل الفقراء نواصل على طريق في الوجه for freedom for vulnerable for vulnerable people we will continue on his road on his path هذا الكتاب نقدمه و We would This book, which has a picture of Vinod smiling, alive as we have always known him. And we have Amir Mahfoul, the Palestinian fighter, as Vinod uh, had passed and left us uh, alone. We show high solidarity and uh, he will be here with us anytime. I was, in fact, supposed to be in Ramallah many years back. Feroz would remember when for the TCC program, the Teachers Creativity Center, I, there was a great struggle to get a visa, and then I couldn't reach Ramallah. And I'm glad that you know did reach, and I really look forward to the work that is going to continue. Thank you very much. صديق دوهاب في بعض أغاني شيخ إمام جو بلس أبيك نتخمع دوهاب أبيك كلك شانسون دو شيخ إمام
La 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 la